right, I'm back with the saga. This is another episode. And after spending a lot of time with the village, which was really good, the village needed it, and they ain't looking too shabby, I don't think. I don't think they, they, they ain't looking too shabby. But I don't want to get too burnt out on a particular area, so I'm back here at these uh, lovely statues over here. Because I said before, this is supposed to be the point where three kingdoms are alluded to. We've got a little alliance going on here, symbolic by their holding of the pick, which is symbolic of their uh, fortitude or whatever they're building. I I haven't flushed out the backstory of that, but I would like to start getting this going, which means getting the first kingdom up, which means this guy right here is pointing at me. He's not actually pointing at me. He's pointing in this direction. I want to put some type of a castle here and start that and it's gonna be big and I think that I could probably get some some help from an old friend so what I'm gonna do is call myself up in creative mode and uh, get some tips on making a castle <clears throat> hey what's up what the hell what are you doing here I thought you're supposed to be somewhere in creative mode I am see Mothership Zeta, no. Dude, you need to get out of here. This is a survival world. Like, you being here destroys the integrity of this entire series. Relax. This isn't your world. I found the save file, made a copy, renamed it, put back in the file folder, press escape, open the land, allow cheats, backslash game mode one, boom! And I ain't even got my feet wet yet. Uh, 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 uh huh? I basically am in a parallel world to yours in every way, except I'm in creative mode, and I can do whatever, and it has no impact on your precious saga world. Uh, uh, what, whatever. I'll just say what I came here to say. I'm here in this world to show you that I've been working on a concept for your castle. And I'm going to fly over here. Things are going to load. I want to say that it is never a bad idea to make a copy of your world, either through the save files, making a copy and renaming it and putting it back in, or uploading the same seed. Oh, I don't want to show that yet. I don't want to show the work. Making another world from the same seed just to test build ideas because oftentimes it's a lot cheaper oops a lot cheaper and you can make mistakes and no big deal and plus you can you know see what looks good before you start building it so now I'm here where you are and now I can show you what I've been working on this is a wireframe structure version of a castle that I think would look really good in this area. Now it is just the wireframe, but this should give a kind of a size idea. This isn't really a super, I don't know, this is more of kind of a square-ish design, kind of like a square pyramid, but I think it would look really good around here. And I've actually made one of these before, but I figured out how to mass produce them, if you can call it that. It takes a lot of... Uh, <laughs> takes a lot of resources to make one of these. But you said you had these statues, and if one of them is pointing toward your kingdom, or the kingdom of this area, then there's got to be a kingdom there, you know. He's got it. So here's the proposal. I think it looks good also from here. Is that sound good to you, Mr. Ned, sir? Uh... You know what? Fine. I, I can't help you. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect him to get that upset. It's just having, just having a good time. Uh, anyway, we I guess we got what we need. I'm gonna go ahead and basically do what was built there. Basically, make a wireframe, and this is where I get to use all the resources down there. So I got lots. I got lots and lots of blocks. 
So I'll get these up here and you'll see what that looks like soon. You work all day, you work all night. Woo! All right, so I think I think I got about as much of this done as I'll probably have time for this week. But I have quite a bit of this finished. And I'm actually really way up here. So high up here that I can see the sunrise way before the sunrise. <laughs> But, you know, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. good joke, I know. So, uh, a couple things I guess I would mention, or like to mention about this whole thing, is that uh, you never really think about it, unless you've done this before, but bring lots of torches. I usually bring like a stack of wood and a, a stack of coal blocks and kind of whittle my way through the collection. Also, a nice ender chest for uh, backpacking sort of needs stuff. And a water bucket, because getting down is not always the easy part. And I really didn't plan for it with any ladders or anything. Um, so that's going to be the fun, uh, fun part of this, is getting down. But a couple things I wanted to mention, just in case you were following along and interested about the dimensions of all this stuff, if you want to try to make it yourself. But well, the dimensions for this, this is the one that's going to have the tower on it, is uh, 21 by 16. And if you go down here, this drops down. This is an 8 block elevation decrease onto another rectangle that is 29 by 24 blocks and each of these on the corners except for in the front in the very front it goes out from the corner there's gonna be a 5 by 5 square and uh, in the back instead of starting the corner out here it actually starts on the very corner so it would do like this and uh, come right back in and remember that the uh, the long side is the 29 and the short side is the 20 <laughs> what <laughs> the, the long side is 29 and the short side is the 24 i think that's what i was going to say really oh that's that's fascinating really <laughs> any other golden <laughs> golden input <laughs> oh jeez all right so um moving on this next section is a seven block decrease in elevation and the furthest out rectangle is 36 by 30 and remember the long side is 36 and the short side is 30 this is crucial <laughs> this is crucial information and the five by five square is still here it's still going down uh, it's just going to sort of be on the outside of the corner here. And this final drop is 16 blocks. I'm going to see if I can be fancy so I can show off a technique for dropping from any height, but being safe. Yes, I did it! I did it! <laughs> if you can uh, click at the last second, or hold it down, hold down the click, then it'll... Uh, Hopefully, if you don't have any sort of frame lags or anything, and you get lucky, you'll land in the water, and you won't take damage. I have not perfected that entirely. Sometimes I'll get all the benefit of the water washing away all the torches, and none of the reward for losing any hearts, or by, for gain, whatever. This, this final outside two rectangles to get up there. These final two rectangles that are that make the the pathway going along the outside of this whole thing are four blocks up from the ground right there and they're 54 by 66 and 60 by 72 so they're pretty big. And as a note, special note, the distance from that wall right there to this wall should be 15 blocks in the front and 16 uh, 15 blocks in the front and 13 blocks in the back 
from this wall, not these extended out parts or this extended out parts, just the uh, the the from rectangle to rectangle. I think that helps kind of set it back a little bit, and this part up here is a little bit bigger too. Make sure I make a note of that. Oh well, you can you can see it visually, right? You can you can see visually. So, anyways, this and on each of these corners is a 12 diameter circle. If you don't know how to make circles, well, this is this is what it looks like. It's six on the outside of each of these, and then um, sort of going in, there's like a corner like this, and hopefully this shows you uh, what it looks like. But if you don't know, you can always go to plots, PLOTZ, just search that and it'll give you nice templates. You can put in whatever values you want and do circles, ovals, parabolas, any, all kinds of stuff, even snowmen, I think. So all of this then goes all the way down. Oh yeah, I also did this kind of thing where it's like a, goes out four on each side, just right in the front. Then everything falls down to the ground. Whoosh, turn around. Uh, don't worry about that. That's uh, not much to anything. But I've been tracing the outline of the bottom just to give myself an idea of where it goes. So the, the next part besides doing the, the very top, I'll probably save that for its own episode. But the rest of it would be a whole lot of filling stuff in. And since that's really tedious and just going back and forth and back and forth a lot, just along the walls, laying down stones. I'm going to do that off camera because it's uninteresting and we shall speak of it no further. But there's other things we can talk about. So here's an interesting little pet project that I uh, I have here at the um, the farm. I actually turned it off so that we could just use these as an example. I put a little notch there in the window with a half slab on the bottom and I built this backboard over here so that basically I can stand over here I can attract everybody's attention in there and if I can get a skeleton to join the party I can get him to start shooting at me there we go Oh, yeah, that's why the backboard's there. But if we look in here... See, I already got one. Get more stuff that way. So, there I now have... I just have to make sure that I stay kind of away from this when it's on full blast. That's why it's in the back corner. But now I have a way to get records. Or music discs, I guess. So I thought I'd share that. I wanted to show off the fact that this uh, the storage area over here with all the furnaces is currently at full employment due to the big project going on. And even though I said I guess I, I said I wouldn't talk about it, but I did want to show a little bit about the resources that are involved in this uh, project. So I got about that high filling and everything on that side, and all of this and just this side of this pillar like on the other side of that it's empty <laughs> just like just like this and everything else but this wall right here and a, that pillar and a little bit of that equals this much minis of stone bricks so that's why the furnace room is running so hot and that's uh, that's what we got here in the enchantment room there's also other things going on there are other things going on uh, mostly a lot of enchanting going through. Uh, luckily, the uh, the mob spawner gives me lots of levels, so I can start getting the master collection going. This currently is the chest full of the pride and joys. So there, there are things like basically the best things. I that's I guess that could be better with lore, but basically I want to have like rows of awesome things. So if anything breaks on me, like like back in the first, uh, back, well, a lot further back in the series, 
I remember I was reduced all the way down to iron. Um, I basically don't have to worry about that. Maybe I just reduced down to diamond without any chance, but it was almost as bad. It was almost as terrible. But it's, uh, I hope to actually maybe someday, maybe someday have a chest full of all the best things. And I guess by best things, I mean like the boots having feather falling and depth strider, and then unbreaking on pretty much anything I can, uh, respiration and aqua affinity. So things that'll help with building, like running across water and falling, that's good. Breathe underwater. Building underwater, that's that's really good. So, this is this is another collection that I hope to steadily grow until it's ridiculous. Other than that, it's been kind of quiet around town, and that's nice. Just you know, still happy with the progress that's been made here. You know, don't don't gotta rush things too much. Sometimes you can you know hang around and uh, en enjoy whatever you make. You know, it's not a race. The race is long, and sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. But in the end, it's only against yourself. So remember that. I remembered it from a song. <laughs> it's a Boz Lerman, Everyone's Free to Wear Sunscreen. But I digress. Although I guess that was on point, so never mind. The point is, I don't need to be in a rush. You know, I can enjoy things. And it's a pretty big project going on over there. Hopefully by next week, more of that will be done. And who knows what else is going to change around here. I think I do eventually want to have a better path going over into that area, since I'm developing it up in the mountains. And I still do have the village. There's still that. There's still the village. So, in the meantime, this, is, <laughs> this has been Red McNed. This has uh, been another episode of the saga, and I hope you enjoy, and hopefully I'll see you around.